YouTube. You're looking at a Mitchell MS400. I got this thing shipped to my house for $241. So that was tax, licensing, import fees because I'm from China. <laughs> uh, $241. Now, it didn't come with a case. I had to put a strap on it, 10 bucks. Strap lock, 15 bucks. Came with my strings, though. I, I play uh, Dia Dario XL 10-gauge um, strings. Came with that. Came with this... Um, Instead of just a regular plastic nut, came with this new, uh, which I say this this Graph Tech. Uh, I've seen them in other guitars, more high end guitars. Again, this was shipped to my house for two hundred forty one dollars. Need to get a case. Probably cost me eighty bucks. Uh, it's an all mahogany. This is Mitchell's most ex second most expensive guitar. They have a flame top. They claim it's a triple A flame top. So, you know, 1A, 2A, triple A is supposed to be the top of the line. I doubt that there's the top of the line for $279, but they say it is. You pay thousands for other companies. I'm trying to get other guitars. Um, I didn't want to buy another Les Paul. I have one Les Paul, but I wanted to buy other guitars to, you know, get some kind of different tone. So I was like, you know, I bought the MD 400 and it was a really cool Mitchell guitar. So I figured I'd pick up this guitar since it was so cheap and see what it can do. All mahogany body on this one. Uh, it has a really cool trim. That's like a natural trim on it. Instead of a binding, it's this really tool, cool trim on it. Uh, but string through, string through body. It has these top hats that are like old Gibson top hats. Um, but they're, countersunk into the guitar kind of like what uh paul reed smith does to the guitar does have a little uh three toggle switch uh a three selector switch the um has a co coil tap for both pickups uh this one is a maple neck with a indian rosewood so i'll bring it to you and you can see the in the rosewood's got a really trippy look to it um, and then it's got locking, uh, tuners. It's got the same kind of natural trim on the side of the headstock. Really nice little Mitchell, uh, gold, uh, silver, um, like a silver, uh, label that they uh, lacquered over. It's really nice. Uh, made in China. You can see the fretboard. I really geek out on fretboards and look at this. This fretboard's got these little like lion paw little marks in them. It's really cool. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot the the wood itself because it's Indian wood, rosewood has a really cool design. Um, like Gibson, it has you know has the toggle switch here like the Les Paul, but it doesn't have the little um, uh, uh, treble rhythm uh, label. I can put that on there if I want to. I'm not going to. You know, like more expensive guitars, you'll even see these days the pickup. It's like mounted. This is a regular pickup. It's got springs and everything, so I can take them out. This is Mitchell's and Nico pickups. I find they have a push to them. I was playing it through my Line 6 and going, all right, this is going to see what kind of grind I got to get out of it. I don't like the push feeling. I, in order not to get the push feeling, I got to go through the Ignator and play it through my EVH cabinet because of the neutrality in it. Uh, again, push, pull. The little top hats are kind of cool, huh? Uh, in the end set, like I said, countersunk, same as the uh, toggle switch, which is not like Gibson. Um, real thin line body, real cool action, really cool action, $241. Um, I pick up, uh, you can see the trim, like this natural wood trim, it's cool. And the same with uh, right around where the hand goes, with you know, playing up high, you can see there's a little be bevel in there, and it's natural all the way around. And you can see that it's uh, like a neck through. And even though it's a neck through, when you get up high, you can really feel the meat of the guitar, even though it's a thin line and everything. It's kind of odd. That's because a lot of the neck goes into the body so you, when you start going up high. Um, they say it's a 22 jumbo, but it, it ain't. There's no way. There's no way. Look at those frets. This, these frets actually feel like, like a 30-year-old guitar that's been shanded down the, the frets, and they're just like, 
at the most optimal point and you know after a couple more years you're gonna have to have problems I mean it really feels like a worn shoe uh, meaning it feels it's awesome but it, they're not jumbo um, and you know what's another thing is is the frets don't go over the fretboard so you don't have no bind in your hand it's really cool uh, the, the way they did this guitar they did they put a lot of detail into it uh, like I said you could see all the detail they put into it so anyways let me go ahead and fire this thing up um, maple I told you that I think we covered all the bases let's see what it can do <laughs> deep Les Paul tone <clears throat> um, it gets its own kind of tone I was first trying to go oh well you know it doesn't get that Les Paul tone well you know what that's not what it's trying to do it's got its own tone so like if I was overdubbing I would use I don't just buy guitars to buy guitar so I'd buy this use this for like an overdubbing of uh, like a standard Gibson sound and throw this on there as an overdub just to get a different tone uh, you know uh, anyways so it, it, it is about six pounds it really sounds cool. Um, like I said, it has its own tonality. Um, it's a really cool guitar. It comes with a lot of stuff. 241 bucks. It's an awesome deal. All right, Gear Geeks, I cannot say enough about this one. Uh, talk to you later. Have a good one.